Hello beautiful internet family, Dan here from danstube.tv and today we've got something really really cool. It's uh, by the looks of it the DJI Mini 3 Pro has been leaked. So as you can see on the screen right now we've got a leaked photo uh, that was leaked by 27 leaks. That's the name of the person. Uh, if we go over to this Facebook group here, so it's called DJI Mini 3 Leaks. Uh, the page is run by Jasper Ellens, and this person is known as 27 Leaks. They've done an amazing job of leaking recent DJI products, and from what we can see here, it really does look like uh, the late production model of the Mini 3. So it looks like it's getting ready for mass production, which can only mean a few things. It's probably not far away, and this is probably the final product. This is probably the form factor that we're going to see from the Mini 3. Now this is the Mini 2 here. Uh, we've had the Mavic Mini, the Mini SE, and the Mini 2, and they've all looked exactly the same. The body of them is pretty much identical, besides like a few minor details, which I've actually got a whole video on my channel to show you those details, but they pretty much look the exact same. So to see something like this, a completely redesigned Mini drone from DJI is really exciting. It was something we needed to see, um, but it it's actually looking really cool. There are a few things that potentially we can see uh, some of the leaks that have already come out from some reputable people. Remember, this is all like rumor, speculation, and leaks, so we don't know 100%, but these leaks here are, are looking very promising. Um, Jasper actually did release. You can go and check out his uh, Twitter as well. It's just 27 leaks, uh, Jasper Ellens, at Jasper Ellens. Um, but here's a little video that he's also posted as well. So let me just mute this. So you can see there are a few leaked photos here. There's even that leaked video at the beginning um, of someone in a store, potentially, who's just literally moving around the Mini 3 Pro. So that's what we can see. And then we've got some other photos here that give us a little bit more of a clearer indication um, of what the drone itself is going to look like. Uh, you can see it looks completely different to the Mini 2. You can see there's these rear facing sensors here. Uh, you can see there's downward facing sensors as well, as well as these front sensors um, just above the camera off to the side here. Um, I will talk about this redesigned like gimbal system because it looks like we're going to see some really cool features. Um, but something that we actually did see a while ago was this little leaked image here or drawing or whatever you want to call it. It could be from the manual, it could be someone who's drawn it up, who, who actually knows. Um, but you can see it's very, very similar to what we've just seen in the leaks. Very similar camera design, the sensors on the front there, um, and just the overall design looks yeah remarkably similar to those leaked photos. But one thing you can see in the background here is a little controller with a screen on it. So I've done some content on the channel. I will actually have a review coming out in the coming days on this guy here, which is the DJI um, RC Pro. This controller will set you back like 1500 Australian dollars. So not a cheap device, but from what I can see in this photo here, um, it doesn't have all the same ports that we can see kind of hard to show you, but there's a few different ports here. So we've got a micro SD, USB-C and HDMI port at the bottom of this device here. But on this little drawing here, you can see there's a little trap door, which could potentially be where the micro SD card goes, um, and then a USB-C to probably charge it. So it doesn't have the full HDMI, um, but besides that, it's pretty much got everything. And, and again, but behind that trap door, we could see a HDMI, but in my opinion, um, they're going to release like a dumbed down version of the smart controller. I don't think it's going to be as powerful. It just can't be as powerful. Uh, it can't be the same like quality of display or thumbsticks. I think it's going to be almost like a dumbed down version, if you know what I mean by that. Um, because think about it, if that controller is $1,500, that combo, if you get you know the drone and the controller together, Ooh, that's going to be quite an expensive kit, uh, and also they're going to shoot themselves in the foot because then the RC Pro wouldn't make much sense. So I think there's still going to be a Pro version that's going to stand out from the offering that we're going to see here. Um, behind this little uh, image here, we can actually see it says O3 transmission, so OcuSync 3 transmission, potentially not OcuSync 3 Plus, which is what we've seen in the RC Pro, which would make sense to kind of dumb it down a little bit. Um, and we can also see that it has a slightly different design. It's very, very similar. Um, 
but it is a slightly different design here. So from my thought process here, we base it on what Autel have already dropped. So we can see the Evo Nano Plus, which is the direct competitor of DJI. The premium bundle, which includes the three batteries, also known as like a fly more bundle, I guess, for DJI, is 1,099 US dollars. Um, in Australian dollars, that's 1,599 for the bundle. So my thoughts are that what they're probably going to do here is they'll release the three versions. Similar to what they did with the Mavic 3, we'll see the Mini 3 just on its own, and that will just have the one battery. We'll see potentially the Mini 3 Fly More combo, which will have the three batteries and then just the standard controller. And then we'll see the Mini 3 Pro, similar to the Mavic 3 Cine, where you actually get the drone and you'll get like a smart controller with it as well. Now that would make a lot of sense because I feel like they're gonna sell a lot of that high-end product with the uh, the smart controller, but it's gotta be priced right. So if we look at the Fly More bundle, so let's say that they're gonna to try to match the pricing of uh, the Evo Nano Plus. Now, I don't know whether they're gonna change the camera system for the Mini 3, but let's just say they go with the same kind of uh, like pricing structure. So 1600 Australian dollars or 1100 um, US dollars for the fly more combo. So we'd probably expect that for the mini three fly more combo. It's going to have, you know, what you would expect, the three batteries, a bag, the usual that you get in a fly more combo. That's 1600 Australian dollars. Now it could be like 21, so 2100, 2200 if you want that uh, smart controller as well. It's hard to say what they're gonna do with that smart controller. It might just be the DJI Fly application. Who knows whether it's gonna be a full Android system like the Pro, because again, they're just gonna shoot themselves in the foot for a lot of people that um, would just buy the you know, the Mini 3, <laughs> Mini 3 Pro, and then they're probably not even gonna consider the, the Mavic 3 or the, that um, smart controller, the RC Pro. Hard to say, it is a different market, but getting back into the Mini 3 Pro, from what we can see here, um, from what Jasper Ellens has actually announced, he's saying that it's gonna have a bigger, uh, bigger battery, so 2,453, 2,453 milliamp hour battery. Now, if we look at the Mini 2 here, we can actually see that this is a 2,250 milliamp hour battery, where the Mini 3 Pro apparently is 2,453. So it's a slightly uh, larger battery capacity for the Mini 3 Pro. The other thing, like I mentioned before, we can see there's those front facing sensors, the rear facing sensors, which you can see here, as well as um, the downward facing sensors as well. Very similar uh, kind of color, I guess you could say, like very similar drone color to what we've seen recently from DJI. So it makes sense. They seem to be sticking to that color. Don't know whether we'll see some color combos or whether they'll just go with that stand alone. Um, but one thing that we can see again is this leaked photo here, which again shows us the drone, shows us the controller, and it looks very, very similar to the drawings or whatever this is, the manual as well as the leaks. The other thing that was really cool was from Deal's drone. Um, and they actually said, it's gonna have a one over 1 1.3 inch CMOS sensor, which is very, very exciting, and an f-stop of 1.7, so fixed aperture, but larger aperture and a larger sensor than the Mini 2, which is what we we're expecting. We don't have any sort of leaks about whether it's gonna be 4K 60 or you know what it's actually going to offer. I would imagine they would probably go 4K 60, maybe, who knows, uh, but that would make sense. They could probably get away with 4K 30 regardless. Um, the other thing is we can see here, the, oh, I've clicked on the Twitter. Here we go, the Twitter post from Deal's drone. Uh, the gimbal is tilted at a larger angle and you can shoot upwards. So we've seen this with the Anafi, Parrot Anafi. Um, and we've also seen kind of a similar design with the Anafi AI. I think it's called the AI, Parrot Anafi AI. Um, and it actually angles the camera up. So that means that you can go underneath something, some sort of subject, and you can angle the camera directly up, which obviously gives a completely unique uh, perspective that we haven't really seen before from DJI. So that would be really cool. And based on that design, we can see that there's no kind of hood here. So it would allow the camera to point directly up and you wouldn't get any of the body of the drone in the shot. So that's something that looks like 
is going to be a unique offering. The other thing is this, which makes again a lot of sense. Camera supports vertical mode. So based again on the housing of um, that system there, you can see there's enough room for the camera to actually rotate like that. So that allows vertical video. And we know how popular TikTok is. We know how popular the reels are, those vertical videos. You see a bunch of that drone content on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube. So to be able to rotate the camera so you can get those vertical shots and you can angle directly up, that would make a lot of sense and would appeal to a lot of people who are content creators or who want to utilize uh, that kind of content for their TikTok, their YouTube, or their Instagram. So that is looking quite promising. Um, the other thing, the, well, I can't speak. The other thing is uh, three directional obstacle avoidance. So again, we've already kind of shown that in the photos. So front, rear, and downward facing sensors. Again, quite an impressive offering for a mini drone. And then we've obviously got the O3 transmission, which I'd mentioned before, but active track, which is expected at this point. We were expecting active track, but again, this is looking very promising right now with that active track, three directional obstacle avoidance, the tilting upwards, and um, also that vertical shooting as well. This is gonna be a very, very unique offering, uh, and also that new remote control with screen as well. So when we actually do look, wherever that image is, at this image here, it's looking pretty much like a mass-produced product at this point. This could be the box, this could be something that's been leaked in-house, who knows where this has come from. Um, but yes, Jasper Ellen's 27 leaks has then dropped some of these photos here alongside some other like notorious leakers and it's looking pretty impressive. This is looking like the Mini 3 Pro. Don't know whether they'll call it just the Mini 3 and then the Mini 3 Pro. I don't know whether the Mini 3 Pro will only have the controller, that new controller with the screen, or whether it will also have an improved camera system. Similar to what we saw with the Evo Nano, they had the Nano and then the Nano Plus, and the Nano Plus offered an improved camera system. So again, don't know what they're thinking here. Um, when we look at the comparison, like we said, uh, I, I did mention that obviously the battery is going to be slightly larger in the Mini 3 from what we can see, uh, and then the sensor as well. So you can see it's a 1 over 2.3 inch CMOS sensor for the Mini 2, where the Mini 3 is apparently a 1 over 1.7. So an improvement in the sensor there. Uh, it's an E24F 1.7 very impressive like this is looking like it's going to sell amazingly well the fact that they've gone for that pro name as well I think it's going to be a very impressive drone that's going to sell really really well it's probably going to be one of their like most sold drones uh, when it does release depending on the price point because a lot of people probably can't justify a mini drone that's going to be bordering on like Air 2S prices because you might as well just get an Air 2S at that point but let's see what they do uh, thank you so much for watching I would appreciate your thoughts in the comments below. It looks like we've got some more leaks and we're kind of getting closer to the answers. Again, rumored video, leaked video, none of this is confirmed. We'll have to wait and see what DJI actually announce. Uh, but keep tuned to the channel for some Mini 3 content, hopefully, when it comes out. Um, and yeah, there'll be a ton of other drone content on the channel. So thank you so much for watching. I'll chat to you in the next one. Peace out.